Welcome back. This is episode 10 of Stranded Alien Dawn. And uh, we're still alive. I think some viewers are surprised that we're still alive. No deaths. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about this episode because we're going to have... Uh... Okay, we should have two snipers now. Like, well, yeah, that's right. I already gave Laura a sniper rifle. So, yeah. The other thing was that we got, we got the breakthrough technology for graphene solar. So we're going to do that. And then battery optimization and then synthetic armor. So we, just have, we have to produce some textiles. So let's just get started. Okay, let's see what our... Oh, that's right, right there. So we have a good amount of food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to manage activities and give Yoku some handling. So she'll deliver... Or, I guess, handle? Yeah. She'll just deliver things in handle, I think. So that should keep her very busy if she's not cooking. So let's just look around. I want to get this fence built. And then we're going to send Quinn on some expeditions. Yeah, and, and the platform will get built as well. He, you know, his happiness is kind of getting down there. So he'll enjoy a nice expedition. Okay, so what is he building? So he's, that's like way too long to build a pipe. And I wonder what happens when the pipe is done. Like, do they have to make a new one? Just gonna pause it there and we're gonna get, so synthetics take just 10 fuel. So we're gonna want, and that's a real challenge. So we're gonna want about Keep about 30 in stock, I think. So I can use... Oh yeah, that's right. I can also craft fuel. So we have a fair amount of oil we got. So we're getting low in grain. So where, where are we? We're at the end of winter. Uh, it looks like fully grown adults, and I was like, oh man. But these are the, these are the hatchlings, and... Oh, excuse me. We should be okay. So, Quinn's got that done. I think I can handle sending... I'll, I'll keep Quinn around, I guess. But he has to finish this stuff. So, I'll keep him around... And we'll just have him kind of move things over. Can I put that there yet? Not yet. Yeah, we do need some t-shirts and things. So it's okay if Ken does that. Okay, improved pulse rifles. So, I mean, that's something to look at. Uh, I don't think we'll get one built. Yeah, we don't even have power cells, so... I'll just put it there anyways. Okay. 
So we're not going to get that done. That's it's okay though. Yeah, I think I might want to even do a adjust where uh, the motion center the motion sensor is. I guess it's okay there. So are they coming? Okay, so that's okay. I'm just going to uh, get them moving right now. Look at our snipers up here. I guess it's better if they kind of stand back, actually. comes the swarm. You know what I forgot was to build lights. <laughs> it would have looked so much better. But also they can actually aim so much better too. So it looks... So there are some... We're attacking the fence. Switch fence. Oh, just right there. That's fine. So that went really well. Yeah, totally forgot with the lights, but I've been very slow with building out my electronics. You know, the longer you have it, you're just wasting materials on repairs as well. And I really want to get to... I really want to get graphene solar panels done. Replace that area. Apparently they're three times, they produce three times more electricity than the regular ones, so. Okay, so we'll send uh, Queen on an expedition tomorrow. Yeah, they only give five, it's, it's not really worth the effort of of uh, butchering those. Yeah, we're actually getting... Oh, we can do some fuel. So, it's 10 oil to make how much? So 10 oil to get 10 fuel. Yep, and they can have a celebration. Oh, I should get Quinn. What's he doing? So I've got to get Quinn to just have a meal and I don't know if he has time to do a expedition. We should look at our silicon levels. It's at ten. It's twenty hours. So well, we have important things to do. So I think I could still send Quinn.
Okay, we still have silicon, so that's okay. Kind of fix that fence. It's not a, not a big deal. So just get her, get a shirt for her. We're still waiting for ingredients. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll need electro electronics too. Okay, let's see what happened. I spot an old crash site with several large debris. One visit won't be enough to scavenge them all. Okay, go there immediately. Let's see what's there. Oh, uh, you found a full set of synthetic armor. I mean, scrap is awesome. Wow. So that was amazing. And actually, I might just give that to Quinn. I don't know if it helps them survive your know, dangerous things on expeditions but I know that it said one time like he the person was well armed so the risk of injury was lower I think I should add you know well defended as well or well armored so I don't think he's going to be back in time It'd be awesome if he was Oh yeah, he is too. So they're celebrating soon. The great thing too is we're getting a fair amount of uh, bricks done. Okay, New Year's Eve. Well, we'll just fast. We've seen so many of these things. It looks like uh, is the freezer malfunctioned. It's okay because it's cold in there. Oh, uh, shooting star looked like a something crashing. You already given feedback at least a couple of times already. Yeah, so they're all very happy. So that's excellent. The other thing too is the synthetic vest help keep him warm. Are you going to get the other stuff? Okay, good. So I think he's uh, fully equipped in that. Yeah, I'm going to give him a better uh, other helmet as well. Then Yoku can refuel that.
I mean, Quinn should probably eat something. Look at Ken do your parrot. Maybe it doesn't really matter because it's the, the food is frozen, but let's do it anyways. Yeah, we well that they're not gonna build those anymore. I don't have any scrap cloth. I might find some. So Oh I have two put there. I'll put liquid fuel to the top. Liquid fuel is always gonna be like super important. We'll just put synthetic underneath it for now. Am I doing scrap? Yeah. I think that's fine. Okay, we got synthetic textiles. Yeah, and I think uh, synthetic armor would be excellent. So I'm not gonna really go for, I don't think I'm gonna build cement. So I don't think I'm gonna go for uh, or prospects. They would like to get the ancient language. I'm not sure if much happened from that in last playthrough. So Quinn will go for an expedition in the morning. Yeah, the details in this game look quite nice. Hopefully it shows up in the video. I can see the computer screen too. But oh, that's malfunctioned as well. So I'm going to uh, wake Quinn up, get him to eat something. So what about their activities? So handling, would that be repairs? So rescue Barry and carrying away. Or is it the crafter that does repairs? I think it's probably the crafter because Quinn would often go and fix stuff. So that's very important, Quinn. Okay, let's go on an expedition. Oh, right. So I need the ancient language researched first. So I'm just going to explore. It's 11 hours. Oh, I hope he's safe in the thunderstorm. So is Yoku, yeah, so she's handling the printer, that's awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, so mo most things are protected. Okay, graphene, solar panels, solar cells. I will want to build one out there. Okay. I see an oval shaped metal structure protruding from some old debris. It is likely an armory bay with reinforced walls, which has survived the crash almost intact. One visit won't be enough to scavenge it, so no this location for future expeditions. So great, we need some weapons. I was in the belly of the armor bay, sifting through broken weapons and rubble when I uncovered a small control panel near the base of the wall. I pressed a button and the display flickered several times before showing input password, followed by six black boxes in a countdown. What are the chances of getting this password right in time? Countdown, oh man. Uh, like you could die here, like it's a security thing. We've got to take a chance though. This is a, you know, we've already beat the game once. Cracking the code success. Feeling confident, I punched in my guess. The display flashed in green and a small portion of the wall slid open to reveal a narrow tunnel path and bathed in dim blue light. Curving upwards along the oval shape of the armory, I squeezed in and followed, reaching a door which hissed open to reveal a very small room. A power cell generator hums in one corner. A custom fitted laser pistol rests on a sleeping bag. There's some dry provisions in a terminal, but the floor is dusty with, without any footprints. What should I do? Check the terminal. Okay, let's hope. This is positive. Success. The terminal contained logs telling the story of a spy in a mission to steal military schematics and sabotage the ship. I guess that they did their job well. I found schematics describing in great detail the parts and assembly for an advanced railgun sniper. I'm sure that if we can procure the materials, we'll be able to craft this mighty weapon. Done with the terminal, I bundled the rations and the laser pistol in a piece of the sleeping bag. And then removed the cell power in the generator. Awesome. I barely managed to get back to the tunnel and reach the exit before the lights died out. The entrance closing behind me. The control panel doesn't respond anymore. Awesome. Guys, this is like... This is getting really good. Oh, it's just like immediately unlocked. So you get 10 more meters. So it's like 30 more feet of range. Attack rate is, is a little bit faster. Hit chance is better. Critical chance is better. So yeah, we gotta get a couple of those. We also need laser pikes. Yeah, see, it's more expensive to produce. But wow, that's uh. I'll get a couple of these. I guess we'll move uh, the pulse rifle down. I want that pulse rifle. We'll just see what it's like. Okay, so this is really awesome. It'd be great if, with, with this playthrough, we can kind of unlock as much as possible. Done. Fortunately, that's not connected to the power grid. So what's she doing now? Okay, that's good. I'm really going to need a lot more electronics. Oh, awesome. Laser. 
Laser pistol 2.0. I'm just gonna go and get Yoku to grab that. So it's not like just sitting outside. So we did really well there. 20 emergency rations, that's always okay. Just gonna select all those, deconstruct. I guess I could just move that over here. I will have some space to build some solar panels there. That that might be better. It's a little bit it's a little bit cluttered here. Yeah, it produces twenty and it is produced sixty. So that'll be awesome. So let's keep it like a space away from... I am going to expand out here. But I don't think I'm going to come out this far. I'll probably have to remove that uh, solar solar panel. I'll have that up. Power pole. Ah, uh, didn't reach. So I hope that that one in the middle is connected. So these will hold 6,000 power when the research is done. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about my traps here as well. Like, if I get, like, a massive swarm, I'm going to want as many traps here as possible. Even though, like, the Juno, the Juno, they basically walk over most of it. They do get injured, but it doesn't really seem to slow them down much. And I don't like them going for my people if they do break through. So we're just going to go overkill on that. And then the next project would probably be, you know, expanding this so we can get more shelf storage. Just getting things more sorted and moved around. We have plenty of wood, so... Yeah, over here I wanted to... So this is... Uh, did I use stone? Okay, so three Juno. Oh. It's not even showing them all. Okay, ten overgrown. So just hatchlings, shrieker hatchlings, and three Juno. So we can do that because the Juno are so fast too. They'll probably be the first ones there. And I think we did get some traps done. Uh, the big problem, though, is we have solar flares. So let's look at all their, all their guns. 
So we have two with rifles. So I'm just going to wake her up. Get her to build some a shooting star. I'll probably get Ken to do some of these. So what's Quinn's issue? He's going for a walk, that's great. He needs to sit and relax. Okay, so I think we did quite well. Yeah, we gotta get everyone over here. Get her snipers up. Get Quinn up there. And Yoku's got a pistol 2.0, so it'll be exciting to see. I don't think I've ever seen it being used before, or I didn't pay attention. Okay, wow, they're all coming at about the same speed, so this will be challenging. I should put Yoku up here just because she'll get increased range and more protection. Okay, so we're just gonna watch this. Boom. Okay, good. The Juno got stuck. Yeah, that pulse rifle... The pulse rifle is amazing. I know people don't like it, but... That's what's stopping the Juno. Okay, a Shrieker... Made it through. There's one Juno left, but he's uh, dazed. So I'm just gonna get Yoku to. I wonder if she can uh, attack this guy. Okay, so he survived. So I'll definitely butcher the overgrown ones. That's really great. Yeah, the Juno are awesome. 50 meat. Yeah, so that was a really good battle. I think I'll end the episode here. Please like. And subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.